In this Get Started tutorial, we will explain how to use a data recorder atom to collect data of passing products. Here you see a model of a timber factory. There are several processes, such as sawing and milling. A generic monitor records the output per hour of this production line. A data recorder can be useful to collect results of passing atoms, for example the lead time. The data recorder atom can be found in the results group of the library. It needs to be placed in the product flow. Every time a product passes the data recorder, data can be collected and either sent to the table of the recorder or to Excel. The data recorder does not add buffer places or have processing time. It only collects data. On the variable page, you can add a new metric to collect. To record the time from when the product was created until it passes the recorder, select Lead Time from Start. Right click the recorder to open the recording table directly. In column 1, you see all the lead times of each passing atom. Using the Excel page, you can connect to an Excel workbook and make sure that data is written to a specific sheet of a workbook. You can also collect the lead time for a part of the system. For example, when the timber leaves the sawing machine until the end. In that case, you need to store the time the timber leaves the sawing machine in a label. In the exit trigger of the sawing machine, using a predefined logic, you can store the current time in a label called Label Time. Add a variable and select the option Lead Time from Time Defined in Label named Label Time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.